Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are you? So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing something different. It's gonna be makeup involved, so I've never involved makeup in my videos. I don't consider myself a makeup artist or I don't think I know how to do makeup. I just like to play around, throw some color in my eyeshadow and just fuck it up, you know? But as you can see, I did have a little bit of action last night. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys what I did today to cover up my hickeys. <laughs> if you guys want the cheesy me, I'm the guy who did this. It was actually pretty like, funny, I think. <laughs> if you guys want a story time on how this happened, let me know because I'll for it be down to like do a you know story time video or whatever. Well with no further ado, honey, let's jump in into today's video. <sighs> okay, so first things first. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna cover up this hickeys. And all I'm gonna do is very, very simple. You're gonna need I grabbed three because I just don't know like which one works better. This one, I think this one I got at Dollar Tree, and then these two I got them at Target. And then I'm gonna be using my usual foundation. Oops. I'm gonna be using this foundation, the Milani Cosmetics Conceal and Perfect Foundation and Concealer together is a two in one. And I know it's a two in one, that one, but. I'm still gonna be using my concealer from a cover girl in the shade undercover. I think that's how you I think that's the shade. I don't know, but I'm gonna put it right here. So this is my concealer. And then uh, you're also gonna need a little espejito, but um, as you can see like I dropped mine, so I have to go get it. So first things first, what we are going to do, I'm going to grab my concealer and I'm going to try to add a little bit So first things first, what I'm going to do, you're going to get your little espejito on the Dollar Tree. I think it's so cute, look. It only retails for one dollar if you use my code. I, I, you can get 50% off, so 50 cents each. It's gonna be linked in the description box below. Imagine that I don't code for actually shopping so much at Dollar Tree. These are my compasses with Dollar Tree. I mean, I haven't gone to Dollar Tree like in a month. I don't think it's that I'm not done. I mean, so this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna try to go as a cover. And I'm just gonna do like a line. I think I'm gonna put it close. I think that's a little bit too much. And then you're gonna grab your beauty blender, whichever, don't matter. And you're gonna just like And if you have a color corrector, that will work as well because the color corrector is supposed to cover a lot of shit. But I would highly recommend to use the Dragon Beauty color corrector just because. That one is really famous for covering Dollar Tree Fogeras, your 5 o'clock shadow if you're a guy, and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Don't be shy, put some more. And then everything is basically just the nail paciencia, because you have to go like this a lot. You should have seen how long it took me today to do this shit before going to work. Like I was already running late, and then I had to do this. So now, after you did that, you just want to make sure come again. You use the concealer as a base, and then what you're gonna do, I like to add a little bit. And then all you're gonna do is just put it on top. And you see how it's already like covering up? Then you want to keep tapping it. And also, 
also want ink just to so you can not make it like so obvious that you have an inky or that you're trying to cover something. Just try to like blend everything into the skin. For example, what I did today is like, since I had the uh, foundation and I'm trying to learn all that motion on my lid, I kind of brought it to the to the face and it just from here and over here I just did a print and that was just extra product that it was in the beauty blender. So that's something you can do as well if you want to, if you would like to. But also, I know you can just put a spoon in the freezer and then you can just literally like squish them and they will go away. I have done it before. You can see it still kind of looks like. As you can see, it is already like going away. So you just gotta keep tapping. And I know it's a process. So this is not gonna cover it up like all, but it will do like make a difference. It will minimize the redness. If you're looking to add more concealer, that's totally fine. Just go ahead and add a girl. Don't be shy. Just put some more if you have to. Because you know. I actually love this foundation because it's like the first time I buy makeup and I just fell in love with it like I don't know why like I loved it. I just like matched to my skin so good like just want to make sure you bring it blend it into the skin so I like to switch beauty blenders so I can like blend it into the skin because I feel like I already used this one to apply my foundation which is the biggest one to blend because it doesn't have no powder, I mean no edges. Also guys, if you guys want me to show you my everyday makeup, no makeup uh, look, then I can because I've been wearing makeup for so long now and I just do like a really natural glam, I guess that's how you call it, a little natural glam only, a little natural Literally all I do is the whole foundation aqui, aqui, así, and usually since I use a hat for work, entonces no pongo nada. But I also be working so much on my face that I literally got all these products. They're not even that expensive. I just got it from Dollar Tree. Maybe to don't be ashamed to use shop at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has a lot of my brand skincare products there. So I didn't buy, I will show you guys in another video. If you guys want to show you my skincare routine, I can. But I mean, I feel like you guys already know my skincare routine because I literally do the skincare thing. When I go live on Facebook all the time, I'm always explaining and showing you guys like how I do it. So as you can see, I told you, it was not gonna, it was not gonna totally cover the hickey or nothing. It was just gonna minimize it. And I honestly tried so hard this morning and it was hard, it was bad, it was really, really bad. So, you, so you do see the difference. Today's video, guys. So, this is how I like to cover my hickeys. Not, I'm not saying I have hickeys all the time. Also, like, when you get hickeys, please, please, please don't ever let yourself get hickeys in your neck or in places where you can see them because I just feel like walking around with a hickey in your neck is gonna make you look like a whore. And I want people to be like, oh, look at him. Because these were really bad. Like, I'll show you some pictures right now. And 
yeah guys so thank you so much for watching this video like i know this was a really really short video but i mean i was just trying to like share with you guys how i like to cover how i did cover this hickeys for work just in case if you're trying to tie some pinkies or something you can just do this put on a pop on a wig and yes i did like you know what i'm saying you're gonna be fine your parents are gonna know that you have hickeys so yeah guys and thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to follow me on all my social media i just did i recently just did a giveaway but i'm gonna be doing another one and i'm not sure what it what it is like i'm still thinking i'm still uh thinking of what should i give away because i was thinking of giving away a phone but i mean i don't know and then i was thinking of just thinking of giving away just one hundred dollars again but then i don't know and then my friend was telling me we should do a giveaway and you can give away um a brand new pair of airpods and i was like oh and then he wanted to do like three different um winners because i was talking to my to my friend and yeah we're like working together on this video ideas and you know like he's like part of my team or whatever <laughs> I'm so important. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below whether you guys want a story time on this little Chile appointment moment or whatever. And yeah. Don't forget to follow me on my social media. It's all K E E V I N N Corral. And it's gonna be linked in the description box below as well. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And don't forget to ring the notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Thank you guys.